Hi guys, I am Office Spoke Dave. <laughs> to think about that one, do you? I was going to say, I, I am Ash. Who are you again? But then in my brain I was going to say, I am, I am Ash. And then I thought people are going to think I'm having a stroke. <laughs> so I was like, well, I... <laughs> <laughs> I... Sorry. I... <laughs> What's well, that? I... What is it? Oh, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Yeah. Isn't it? It is. Dennis. I <laughs> I knew it was from somewhere. Anyway, the reason it takes us so long to record reactions together, we just did a Sunny V2 that's 10 minute long uh, episode or video, whatever you want to call it. We literally took about 40 minutes. Half an hour it was. Yeah. It's just because we chat pants. So if you don't like chatting pants, then... Uh... It's not the channel for you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right. Morgan Wallen. Wallen. Okay. Is a country singer. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think I've reacted to him. I'm like 99% certain I've not reacted to him before. I am sneakily... Is that two hours of Morgan Wallen, greatest hits on the side there? He's like, he's a very big name in country oh, okay. music. But I'm just quickly double checking that I haven't <laughs> reacted to... Uh, I don't know. I've done a lot. I've done a lot. Nearly three, three and a half thousand videos over at the office, folks. There's bound to be some crossover. There is a lot of the time. We've reacted to the same video I, twice before. We've actually reacted to the same video three times. <laughs> and only the third time did we catch it and say, we've done this. So it happens. But anyway, this is a recommendation. Someone sent me this. Mm. Um, I think country seems to be popping off in the States at the moment. Yeah, it's good. I'm pretty sure I read something that said sometime recently, the top three positions in the billboard charts one two and three were all held by country songs nice for the first time in history nice which is mad when you think that it's 2023 you'd think it'd be like hip-hop or nah it's getting really good country music like I even said to you i, I appreciated like uh, hearing miley's rendition of uh, jolene yeah yeah, yeah, going back to country roots. I, I, we, we, reacted, we reacted to that over at the office. Oh, books, did I, you I think really? we did, yeah, a couple of years ago. I love Miley. Uh, I like some of it, don't like all of it. I've made it pretty clear. I've reacted to quite a lot of country here. I tend to like the sort of like more outlaw country, you know, the okay. grittier, you know, singing about booze and guns and like redneck cowboys. Tough times. Whereas like a lot of country I've heard is a little bit like guitars up here and quite clean you know like it, it doesn't do it for me as much as like someone being gritty if you know what I mean I get that R the realness kind of yeah I've yeah. got a mix when it comes to country um, music I, I like I really enjoyed that I also can't remember the names Rory and someone but they do the cheetah cheetah oh yeah yeah, yeah. I, I cut my uh, did you were Anna, you wearing your ring your or did you put ride. it in your pocket you know, who's done, you know who's done a version of that? No, that's somebody else. No, I'm talking about the one that you guys reacted to on The Office Blokes. And she talks about, like, um, where'd you meet her down at Earl's Bar with those big fake lash lashes. Ah, uh, right. I'm thinking, Not the one where um, I put a, uh, I put my keys straight into your... Four-wheel drive. Drive, yeah. Something, something like that. You know the other, other lady. You know who's done a great version of that is uh, Amigo the Devil. You know, that I listen to. You've heard a couple of songs. I'm like, sure I have, just not very good with names. He's done a version of it that's him just with an acoustic guitar singing yeah. that. Cheater, you know, cheater. Not that one, the, the one I'm talking about. Oh, the about. other one. Anyway, this is why it takes us so long to record reactions. Morgan Wallen. You, uh, yeah, you're pretty little souped up four-wheel drive. That's, that's the it. one. That's the one. That's the one. Yeah, there's an Amigo the Devil version of oh, it. Oh, interesting. It's, it's, it's a tune. It's a good song. Uh, right, Morgan Wallen, Last Night. Let's do it. <laughs> We let the liquor talk I can't remember everything we said But we said it all You told me that you wish I was somebody you never met But baby, baby, something's telling me this ain't over yet No way it was our last night I kissed your lips Make you grip the sheets with your fingertips Last bottle of Jack, we split a fit Just talking about life, going sip for sip Yeah, you, you know you love to fight and I say shit I don't mean But I'm still gonna wake up on you and me I know that last night we let the liquor talk I can't remember It's a short song and I didn't want to pause it that soon 
No. It's not at all what I expected this song no, to be. No, not at all what I was expecting. Is it wrong that I kind of think he's talking like almost like a toxic relationship and she's just like, I he's wish talk- I'd never met you. And he's like, yeah, you like to fight, you know, but yeah. we'll, we'll work it out. And it's just like, it is okay. the, like, that's I think that is the theme of the song, <laughs> to be honest. You know, last night was great. In hindsight, we're maybe not right for each other, but I definitely want to do it again. Still want you, still want you. I make you uh, grip the the sheets with your fingertips. These like wired guitars. Can you hear the acoustic guitars out there and there? There's like a 12 string and a a, a six string. But I do appreciate that they sat in a circle. But that's like an 80s rock band. They'd have such a wide stereo image in acoustic guitars on an intro. And then it'd go, like toms would go. And then it'd just kick into some like rock ballad. It's I very, think like, that when it's pr- production wise, it's very of that sort of time. But I still gonna wake up on you and me. I know that last night we let the liquor talk. I can't remember everything we said, but we said it all. You told me that you wish I was somebody you never met. But baby, baby, something's telling me this ain't over yet. No way it was I last. Break up. I see you tell lights in the dust. You call your mama, I call you bluff. And in the middle of the night, pull her right back up. Yeah, my, my friends say let her go. Your friends say what the hell? Sorry, see? that that lyric of uh, I saw you, your I tail saw your lights, tail lights and, and then I called you bluff. And then you came back. I, back. The first girl I ever lived with when we were younger and obviously out partying loads and Which all that Which means you saw somebody stuff. before me. How dare you? You're supposed to be a virgin. I have children. Uh, no. Not with her, though. Um, <laughs> but we, it was the first girl I'd lived with. First time I'd lived with anyone other than my family. Yeah. And a proper boozy night, huge row. And like I was a lot more emotionally immature at that point. She had her issues and blah, blah, blah. Well, whatever, it doesn't matter. In the middle of Manchester, near Victoria Station, yeah. is where I lived. And I literally picked up my favourite guitar, put it on my back, and I was like, I'm fucking out of it. I'm going. <laughs> it's so cliche. So angsty. I put it over my shoulder and I was like, I'm fucking done. And I was going to walk the uh, nine miles, I think it was, to get to where my parents' house was in Altrincham, nine, yeah. ten miles, at like four in the morning on my own, carrying the guitar smashed out my face. And then she literally just went, if you walk out that door, it's done. So you better be you better be sure. <laughs> like <you> came back in <laughs> the guitar. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. Poor I, I was young boy. and stupid, but I, I yeah, I should have should have fucking walked out to be honest. But so uh, I've I've been that girl where I've been emotional and I like had a big fight. I was like, don't want to do this anymore. And then like locked myself in the bathroom. <laughs> Can you imagine me being that emotional in that sort of situation? Though? No, but you can imagine me emotional in that. I can, yeah, but I, I'm dead inside now, so it just doesn't <laughs> you're matter. You're not. <laughs> you call your mama, I call you bluff, and in the middle of the night, pull her right back up. Yeah, my, my friends say let her go. Your friends say what the hell, I wouldn't trade your kind of love for nothing else. Oh, baby, last night we let the liquor talk. I can't remember. Don't get me wrong, he's got a lovely voice and his band is amazing and it's a good song, it's just lyrically not oh, for shit. me, it just kind of... You don't like the uh, 
toxicity of it. No, that's what because the, yeah. I've been in those relationships where you, you're fighting and your whole body's telling you to leave, but your mind just keeps going, no, we can work it out. Hmm. We can make this work. It's like, no, get out I, where you can. Find someone who respects you to a point where you don't need to have those drunk conversations and be packing your bag and well, then, making ultimatums. Yeah. I'm definitely not coming back well, this time. If everyone was in the perfect relationship, no one would write good music. True. I suppose and you learn from having those relationships because I learned from those. Contentment is the scourge of creativity. <laughs> or contentment like poor Terence, who we just reacted to. He was never content. That's what I mean. Yeah. He went searching for it and never found it. Mm. So there you go. It turns out Morgan Wallen is Mr. Ballin. Is he? No, he just looked a lot oh. like him. He was dressed exactly the same. I, I just thought, I just I thought, I thought, I thought it, you know I'm gullible. <laughs> you get me every time. Right, it is a good song. It, it, I appreciate the musicians. and the, the, Having three guitars at once was really poetic. It was a really beautiful song. Just I, like, lyrically not for me. Because you, you, I think, maybe read into the lyrics more, whereas I was just listening to the song and just enjoying Fair it. Enough. And, like, guitar-wise and musically, not for me what I think of when it comes to country music or anything like that. The guitar especially, that was... I don't know what I'd call that. I liked it, though. I liked it. There you go. Right then. Cheers for that one, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe and all that good stuff. If you want to see more country... Just get outside your front door. Also, if you want to see Angry Face Ash with some country music, go on to Office Blade. That wasn't country. Station. Was it not country? It was Tom McDonald rapping Ugh. and Adam Calhoun. Just because he's a beardy, me. redneck-looking guy doesn't mean it was country. They were in a barn. <laughs> and the whole thing just made me angry. <laughs> yeah, uh, if you want to see Ash get angry watching Tom McDonald, it is on my Patreon page. Yes, and Patreon seriously. is the best way to support the channel. But like, I just appreciate you watching. Seriously, I talk about my face being like instant reaction and I've got myself into trouble. It was in that moment you knew, like I was pissed off. I was just like, <laughs> "It's all good. It's all good. It's part of it." Right then, cheers for that one, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye. Okay.